Well, the search for human remains begins today by the New York City Chief Medical Examiner in Lower Manhattan after plane wreckage was confirmed to be from one of the two hijacked planes that attacked the towers. I want to see reporter Lisa Calagrasi is live where that search is taking place. Good morning, Lisa. And Ken, they will start around 8 o'clock this morning. Four investigators from the medical examiner's office will sift through the debris found in that alley, hoping to find human remains from 9-11. Now, the part that turns out to be a wing flap, not a landing gear, is still wedged in the tight space. It's been an emotional time for relatives of those killed nearly 12 years ago. Only about 60% of the more than 2,700 victims have had remains identified. Charles Wolfe's wife was killed in the North Tower. This keeps a promise that the administration made to me personally back in October of 2006 that they would continue searching for remains regardless of the amount of time it took and regardless of the amount of money that it cost. Now officials expect that sifting process to take about two days. Once that part is removed, it will be in the custody of the police department. Then it will either be an artifact or turned over to the NTSB. For now, we're live in Lower Manhattan. Lisa Calagrasi, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.